We had an incredible turnout for our uh, veterans, Pompano and Whiting and Redfish and Game Fish fishing tournament that we did. We held right here at the Fish Bites Tackle Shop here in Liars Club. Uh, I'm getting loaded up. I had to pick up some gear that I left here because I played the music for it. I also want to give a quick mention to their ice machine, okay? They have twice the ice right here on premise. It is only $2 for a 20 pound bag of ice, $2. Come get some ice here at the Fish Bites Trading Post. Guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. St. Augustine Sandman here. I have no idea what kind of fishing I'm gonna do today. I just decided that I'm gonna go fishing today. Uh, the Pompano may or may not still be here. We're gonna go find out. So I'm a, I might do some Pompano fishing. I think I'm gonna go to Marine Land, uh, right next to that Marine Land, like the uh, tourist attraction. I'm gonna fish right next to it. And uh, well, we'll see what happens there. And if nothing happens there, I might try something else. Who knows? We're gonna see how it feels. Uh, the winds are at 15 to 20 mile per hour winds today. Uh, I think it's a uh, east-northeast wind. Yeah, might might muddy up the water pretty good there for us. I, I'm not sure. We're gonna go check it out. Well, I just checked out Marine Land. Sitting in this parking lot right next to it. It is so muddy. The winds are crazy coming at my face. Um, I'm not gonna fish here. It looks, it's like a wash machine out there. So I'm gonna keep moving. All right, we're gonna try Washington Oaks State Park. That's what we're gonna try. Hello. I got a cart. Let's get you into the parks. Thank you. Oh, I should have pulled closer. Bye bye. Have a going. Going to see if, what we can get into. Yeah, we're here at Washington Oaks uh, State Park. It's a lot of walking to get to this uh, little fishing area, so I'm glad I brought the cart. Uh, eh, it's not too bad, but you definitely need a cart because it, you got some walking to do. Oh yeah, okay, this is starting to look good here. Nice little bridge you gotta cross. Okay, now we're getting towards the water. Here we go. Oh man. Let's see, we got some bait fish in here. Oh. This opens up, there's people already fishing. Fiddler crabs like crazy all over the ground. Guys running away right now. Where you go? Man, just like that. All right. Cool. And this nice little recreational area here. Bait station, tables. Just set up right here. They also down the way you can see it right there. There's a seawall you can set up. Fish off that seawall. That might be my next go-to if this doesn't pan out. Looks like there's a lot of boat traffic today coming through. It is still mid-spring, mid so people are traveling, taking their vacations. could have crabs biting our bait. It is just cut mullet. I mean, think there's crabs down there or what? This bait is just getting torn apart. Here we go. We finally got a fish on.
Not quite sure what it is, but it's not pulling any drag or anything. Oh, here we go. Oh, guess who it is? Can you guess? All right, guess. All right. You were right. Catfish. <laughs> hey, we weren't skunked. Lots of, lots of weight coming in. Good God. <laughs> I'm going to try out these Fish Bites Fight Club dirty boxers. This is the white knuckles. Turn it. This has got a flat side to it. Hey, a lot of, a lot of action over here. Let's take a jig head. Got the flat, flat side to it. It's gonna go in right through the top there. Come out, right about halfway. Lots of lively action. Let's see if we can get some flounder. This current is ripping through here pretty fast. So I'm trying to keep this weight on the ground. So I'm just tossing it out, letting it drop. Let it sink to the bottom. And if there's any flounder, they'll see it. They'll pick it up. These dirty boxers, uh, sounds terrible, but they are scented. These dirty boxers are scented. <laughs> Cut the head off of this, this uh, white knuckle. It turned brown. It's been in my bag so long it turned brown. So we're going to see if it works still. I need to get some more. Um, anyway, you want to rig it like, I made it a little shorter, a little shorter profile. So you want to rig it so that this, when you're reeling it in, this paddle tail part is down, facing down. I like a little shorter profile than these things come with. Because I like to stretch out, stretch out the tail. Makes them a little longer that way, and then it gives it a little more action. This is the only place I found where I could actually like toss out a lure, not have it blown all the way back in my face. Washington Oaks. Boom. See that? Immediate. A big old shark. Big old shark was going for that. That's crazy. I don't know if that was on camera or not. I think this spot is a bust for right now. Well, we are kind of doing the walk of shame, but that's all right. That happens, that's fishing. What I do have is some cool intel for you. This is a nice little place to come. I mean, you bring your family. They got a little picnic table set up here. They got a grill. Uh, there's fiddler crabs like crazy all over the place. They're just everywhere. So cool. So I guess a descendant of Wash George Washington, president, the first president of the United States, I guess a descendant of his opened this, uh, opened this park or his place and, and they made a park out of it. Comment below if you know the actual history. And that's another thing I love about being a St. Augustinian. That's how you say it. There's so much history. There's so much to do. You can go fishing and get a history lesson all in the same trip. Very cool. I just want to show that they have this whole other fishing area right off this ledge here. So you can come fish. This whole seawall. Here 
Very cool. Might have to come fish this next. It's very beautiful in here. Have the uh, botanical gardens. Wonderful. Come down here, propose to your girlfriend, or go on a date. Nice walk. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Very pretty here. Well, they don't allow pets in the gardens here, just so you know. So when you're leaving the park, right across the street on the ocean side, there's a parking lot. So when you pay, um, you, you can pay at that gate right there and you can access both things. So this is, a, I'm not gonna go there, but if you go across this A1A here, there's a whole nother parking lot back there and that goes right on the beach. So you could fish the beach side too. However, I'm not. I'm going to pick up Dean, so. Onward back to downtown St. Augustine. Thanks for coming with me on that adventure. Uh, we did catch one fish, we weren't skunked. So, that is very neat. <laughs> anyway, uh, at least you got to see the gardens, at least I got to see the gardens, so. That's pretty cool. Hey, keep it reeling guys. There's gonna be more fish, more opportunity. It's just, it's crazy right now with these winds and all. everything's really muddy right now. Gotta go at the right times. Early, early, early morning. Look very low light. And uh, we'll catch them. See ya. Sail, sail away. Sail away with the sail.